Yeah. I think with a lot of um, people in my position, like that's a head trainer at, at a gym, um, I think any trainer that's listening to this right now will agree, like you get backstabbed all the time. You mm-hmm. invest, as a good coach, you invest everything into fighters, into students, because if you're a good teacher, you genuinely want to see people get better, not only in Muay Thai, but just in life. You just want to be that, you know, if I can help this person, um, and you're, at the end of the day, you'll give your all to people at the end of the day to get stabbed in the back. I've been stabbed in the back so many times mm-hmm. throughout the years. But one thing that I love about myself is I've never let that change who I am as a person. I will continue to still be the same crew Neil that will give his all to his members, you know, and just people who are around because I genuinely like helping people. Uh, it's just generally who I am. And um, I think that's what will set us apart from the other people is just and what will continue to attract better people you know what i mean we can continue to help people and that's what i love and i love that we do this podcast yeah. Yeah. you know every week we have a new episode coming out just i we we all agree if this episode or any other episode we've done if it can touch one person it was so worth it yeah and can i just i, I actually will defend the backstabber because and i've said this before or i don't even think they're bad i just think they're people individuals who don't know how to move on and cope and really realistically how to speak to somebody. The easiest way to have a breakup with anybody is what? In a fight. Doing something that's easy to be like, well, fuck you then or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. It is really like if I really, if I was just tired of you, let's just say for example, and I wanted to break up with you, it'd probably be more difficult to be, for me to be like, hey, let's sit down. You know what? This isn't working out. I want to move on. Like a lot of people don't know how that use do that conflict. It's very rare for people to do that, by the way. It's easier to be like, what the fuck I hate that shirt or this and that or your hair or blah blah, blah. You, you know what I mean or it's like you know no, you, <laughs> no I'm not do you not like you. Hair I'm not I'm just saying like I thought you red know, was my no. color <laughs> well listen it's not you know but I'm just saying it's no. It's, uh, <laughs> no but I'm just saying it is very it is very scary for people to talk to people like that yeah it is very to scary for people like to quit adult? their job and be like hey I'm not happy here I'm moving on it's better like to start an argument, to do something that wraps something up because it's easier to be like, I'm done. Yeah. It is, it's, it's it, unfortunately, that's how most people are. It's just people who have never been taught that and it's very hard and it's very, I mean, me and Neil have had conversations where we have disagreements and I say, hey, we need to work on this or this is not gonna work. Those are hard conversations that I've had with him. I don't wanna uh, do our, our business to break up, but I also understand like, if this doesn't change, like it's not worth it for us to be business partners. Mm-hmm. Yes or no, have we had them? It made you feel like shit, because it made me feel like shit. Like it's an uncomfortable situation, but it's, it takes, if you really want it to work or you really want, you care about that person, you're gonna have that hard conversation. Yeah. You have to have that conversa- hard conversation and people are cowards and they'll rather fight and start up some shit and just leave than to be like, hey, you know what? I thank you for everything. I appreciate everything. This no longer is working out. We've had them multiple times and guess what? We got over it and we continue to go yeah. and we move on and we worked on the, the things because we're not perfect. He's not a perfect human. I'm not a perfect human. We fuck up in business all the time. But we look at it and we say, this is going to be a problem and it's going to cause us friction for me and you because it's already I'm already feeling it. That's a really hard conversation of people to have. Yeah. And it's easier to fight with somebody, start something up, than it is to just lay it out and just be like, hey, because I'm telling you right now, I would rather somebody come up to me and be like, hey, you know what? I'm not happy. This is it. I want to move on. Like, what do you say to somebody? Oh, I hate for you to being honest with me. Like, how are you mad with? Yeah, it might hurt you a little bit, but long term, like you see somebody and you're just like, hey, what's up, man? I hope you're well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's very hard for people to do that. I'm telling you, I've learned that in my years. Like, it's, if you pay attention to people who break up with you, they'll normally start something up. Yeah. yeah. You know Absolutely. what I mean? I That's like- very true. That's a very true fact. Yeah, I agree. I think that's why when we created our core values, it's family, loyalty, experience. That's our core values for the company, and we did it based off of the mirroring of what our our members represent. Yeah. Under those pillars, what is there? I, and I always, when I'm training somebody, I always go through the pillars, and I'm like, it says communicate. Mm-hmm. It says communicate under one of the pillars. What that means to us is that we are a company and a team that is willing to grow, change, and adapt as the seasons come, you know? And as things change and we move with time and everything, we're not, like you said, we're not perfect. And we understand we're not perfect, so we're 
open to change. But if we don't know that something's wrong, like how do we fix it? You know, that's what I always tell my team, communicate, like let's rumble. Like you tell me if I said something you don't like or I'll tell you if you're doing something that I don't like, you know, and we might not always agree. And what's great about that is that's ultimately any relationship, right? In any circumstance. In anything. In, yeah, in any circumstance, communication is the, the, the solid core that will allow any relationship to blossom because mm-hmm. if there's no communication there's no hey this made me feel a certain way or you know i don't like it when you do this there's no there, like there's it's just gonna bottle up bottle up bottle up and eventually you explode and then like you said the easiest thing for people to break up is just explosion and let me but all that was built up from things that weren't said yeah. out loud yeah. to the other person yeah. you know what i mean so death by a thousand paper cuts like yeah. they say you know what i mean yeah. right, look at the end of the day it is what it is it's it's hard for most people um i think we've all had that experience at some point or another in our lives but if you try it and you're honest with somebody when you no longer want something it's ve- like for them it's such a shock yeah. for you to be so straight up that they just don't know how to respond i've done it like when i left uh, like a company like mm. uh, uh like either like a telephone company or switched over and i'll just be like you know what i'm just not happy with the prices i got this better like mm-hmm. you'll be surprised how people on the other line are just kind of like um uh, okay. okay okay you know <laughs> yeah. like they don't yeah. know what to say just mm-hmm. yeah. try it Right. I agree. You grow through what you go through. And I think everything we went through during that small period of time was definitely beneficial. I think our team needed that little shakeup because now we're only stronger and better. Mm-hmm. And we got so much better people on the team. Like, yeah. I feel so strong in our team. But anyways, whatever. <laughs> <laughs>